Hello and welcome back to Steven Plays Earthbound. My name is Steven George, I play video games, today it's Earthbound. When we last left off, these were our stats. Ness is pushing level 50. Paul is nearly to 45. Jeff is behind her at 43, and Pooh is not in the party. <laughs> I was I was I was just reading off because you know Pooh was gonna appear, but Pooh's not in the party. Pooh is gone. Pooh is learning Star Storm from the Star Master. Uh, we have just arrived in Deep Darkness. There's our uh, little submarine over there. The phones are just birds with uh, phones on top of their heads. And we have a monkey who runs an inn. Notice how the monkey is talking. The monkeys run the inn in the forge. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night? Sure. It is, it is a free stay. Can't turn that down. Didn't you think it was comfortable? Take care and goodbye. Uh, now, in this water, we're fine. But as soon as we go into the deep water, we move a lot slower, and the red flashing indicates that we are taking damage. Not good. Unfortunately, it's just something we are have to going to have to deal with. This is a guy who is going to be useful to us as he sells multis. Combat yo-yo, super bomb, multi bottle rocket, and rust promoter. Don't need any of that stuff. We've got two multis for Jeff, and uh, we should be all set there. Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to this small rural village. A businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities. And I'm a tough businessman, yes sir. I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A, do you want to buy? B, do you want to heal? Buy. Needless to say, this is a rural village. <laughs> we have poor items. Hello there, how can I help you? Diamond Band. Charm Coin. Alright, what we really need are these Diamond Bands. That's that's what we need. Uh, Ness and Jeff want them. It'd be a good idea to acquire them if we could. Uh, now, one thing about the, uh, the, the Deep Darkness area is that there's not an ATM machine. There's something similar, but however much money you withdraw, they charge you. So, for example, if you withdraw $20,000... You, you get that 20000 but then they charge you 20000 so it comes out of your account. That's not cool. I don't like that. So instead, we are going to teleport. We're going to teleport back to a place uh, where there is uh, ATM. The problem is, Pooh is the one that knows teleport beta, which is the circle motion, which would be really easy if we could just do that. But since that's not here, we're going to have to get really creative, and this is usually really tough. I'm gonna try to gonna try to get it. We're gonna have to actually move in the middle of our, our teleport. And uh, let's see, is there any interesting place that we could bother going? Hmm. I guess we'll just go back to on it. That would be that'd be cool. Here we go. Whew. There. Welcome back to on it. Right in front of the hotel, which is uh, a place I would like to be. Hello, ATM. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. I am going to withdraw. Let's see, we got 41,000. Uh, those uh, diamond bands are nearly $10,000. They're a little more, I believe. They're like 10 something. Um, but we do have a uh, platinum band to sell and a lucky coin. So we could probably get our money just from that. So, ah, I do want to be careful though. Okay. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to withdraw another extra uh, $1,000. So we can definitely pay for it. I'm just being cautious. But hmm, it's nothing wrong with being cautious. Because we're in Ana, there'd also be a good opportunity to um, drop off any items that we weren't going to use. Uh, probably a few things here that we could get rid of. Um, key to the Tower is one of them. We're not going to have to go back to... Uh, um, the Dungeon Man. Dungeon Man is done. We don't need that anymore. So now we're chilling in on it. Bet you never thought we'd be back here so soon. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this stuff because uh, I don't see a reason to hold on to it. Hello there, on it drugstore owner. I would like to sell you a uh, platinum band. <laughs> and he's got two thousand dollars on him to do that. Yeah, I don't know how that works. And let's also sell the lucky coin. 3,000 bucks! Do I have anything else to sell while I'm here? 
Uh, do 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 do. I almost never use these. How much are these worth? Two fifty. Yeah, what the heck. And let's see what else do we got. Paula's got a peanut cheese bar she's been holding on to for like her entire life. Uh, do 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 do. We're probably good on this front. Get you anything else? No. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome very much. Um, okay. Now, yes, I am in the area, but I actually think it would be shorter to, uh, to just call Escargo Express as opposed to walk all the way up there and give it to her in person. Although it would, it would save me $18, and I am a cheapskate. That might be nice. Mmm, no, I'll be fine. I am going to go ahead and teleport this time to Foreside because I thought about it. Oh man, I ran right into the back of that bus. Or whatever it was. It just doesn't show it. I totally get it. Plowed right through it. I'm going to use this opportunity to buy some big bottle rockets. Uh, because I have the multis, yes, but the bigs would not be done. Not be a bad idea at all. I think I'll buy how many do I how many slots do I have for those? Three slots. I'll buy two. That'd be a pretty good idea, I believe. So we're just chilling now. It's like once Pooh leaves the group, we go on vacation. Oh man, we got rid of that guy. Let's let's go back to Foresight and do some shopping. In the back room, no less. Uh, give me one of these. For Jeff. God forbid they put in a system where we can buy multiple items at a time. Alright. Thank you, and that'll be it. Now I've got 15 grand. More money than I need. <laughs> we'll go back down, deposit what we don't need, and then head back to Deep Darkness. Oh, I... The fun times we had when Paula was kidnapped. That was, that was fun. Deposit. Let's see. Let's deposit... Uh, 4,000? Yeah, we'll, we'll have some money left over, but that's fine. Oh, oh, and the key to the tower. That's right. I almost forgot that part. This picked up receiver, Escargo Express. Hi, Tracy. I need you to come pick something up. Let's walk outside, and they'll be there shortly. Of course there's a magic butterfly. Well, I, I really should have kept a tally of how many magic butterflies I've seen in this Let's Play, because it has been ridiculous. Maybe I'll go back and, and check. Hello, this is Escargo Express, delivery charge $18. Yes, I think I can cover the bill. Holy crap. Uh, first off, we definitely want you to take the key to the tower. And then... What else could I have you get rid of? Yeah, the Hawkeye. We're not going to use that. Um, probably not going to use the... I'm gonna, I really want to say we're not just not going to use the show killer, but that's not true. Uh, there's a boss coming up that we will use that for. Um, actually, take the bag of Dragonite off my hands. And there won't be anything else after that. That's correct. Thank you very much. And let's make like a sheep and get the leaf out of here. Is that how it goes? Oh, maybe I messed it up. Heading to Deep Darkness. Woo! And welcome back. Pretty much right where we left off. You can actually talk to one, one of those monkeys and you'll get a item called the Monkey's Love. It's basically an item that allows you to... Um, uh, it's an it's a item you use in battle and a monkey comes to your aid and helps you fight. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't usually bother. Time to buy. Diamond Band for Ness. Of course we're going to equip it. And you can buy the Platinum Band for even more monies. And now we'll buy a Diamond Band for Jeff. And I think that they had the Diamond Bands back in um, in Summers, and they were like $10,000, so we're getting them a lot cheaper. And there's nothing else that we could really use, so we are set. Get you anything else? No, we're good. I still have $8,000 on my person, which isn't the greatest thing in the world, but I think we'll be alright. 
Uh, there's another chance to buy a multi if I want it. I've got two bigs and two multis, but we really just don't need any more. And with that said, I guess I should get a move on with my life. Onward we go. And we are going to be taking some damage walking through all this stuff, but that's just the way it is. Oh, hi, enemies. Enemies right off the bat. I'm going to be fighting quite a few. Zap eel. Hmm. Zap eel. We got some freeze. We got some thunder, but they are thunder. We got some fire, but they're in the water. I wonder what would happen if we just shot them. Electric shock attack. Franklin Badge is killing you. Oh, unless they hit Paula, of course. Now, Deep Darkness is a uh, it's a hard part of the game, and they might kill Paula here. No, we did good. We did good. Um, there there are some difficult enemies. Oh, crap. There's Paula. Double Paula death. Paula died twice over there. There's no need for that. That was a little excessive, I think. 12,000 experience. Paula doesn't get any of it. Paula's dead. If we walk into this area right here... We can go into our menu and use the Hawkeye. Well, we have to we have to give it to someone who's alive first. Let's let's re let's revive Paula first. Cup of life noodles use on Paula. Welcome back to life. It'd actually be a pretty good idea if everyone had um, one of these items. Does Jeff have room? Yeah, Jeff has room. That way, in case someone dies, anyone has the opportunity to to revive everybody. Now that Paula's alive, we can use the Hawkeye. Use. Now we can see. Now the Hawkeye will disappear. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter because we, we used it. There's a banana. Mmm, banana. Just another thing to clog up our uh, inventory. Uh, that thing right there is the uh, ATM thing I was telling you about. Where you can get the money you need. But it will uh, charge you. And that sucks, so I don't I don't usually deal with it. A lot of people think Deep Darkness is difficult, and the enemies can be difficult, that's true. But um, for the most part, I think it's pretty straightforward and simple. Another Zapio, but this time we're only fighting one. Oh, I should have revived uh, Jeff's health. That was a bad move. Let's do that now. Hopefully he'll be alive. Hopefully it won't kill him. Electric shock attack on Jeff, right? It kills him. Oh, it killed Paula! Crap! Man, I wish I would have used... Oh, man. Can I kill him before Paula dies? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Come on. Yes! Excellent. Excellent. Paula lives. Whew. That was close. Paula's now 45, though. HP 3 and PP 2. Let's move forward a little bit here. Oh. That's right. We're in the deep water. We don't want anybody to die. Um, life up beta on Paula. And I uh, just used life up on Jeff, so he's probably fine. Okay, let's see. It's very easy to get lost in here, but I think I know where I'm going. Down this way and to the left, toward the broken helicopter. Remember earlier, uh, Pokey had the helicopter. And now you see where the helicopter wound up. It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed that there's no engine. Hmm. It really seems like something you would look at, like, to begin with. Really, really strong antoids. Or, not antoids, slugs. Pitbull slugs. Uh, these guys pack quite a little punch. I think it takes, like, two people fighting them. Yeah. Yeah, two people hitting them to actually take them out. Oh, man. Taking down our stuff, attacking our plush bear. I actually keep forgetting that we still have that thing. It's been a really useful item. It's lasted a lot longer than, than most of the other bears we've held on to uh, have lasted. 10,000 experience. Jeff goes to level 44. Gets one. Oh, then three guts, then one. Oh, three IQ. That's good. HP goes up by 12. That's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't match uh, Pooh and Ness, who got crazy, crazy, crazy stat boosts in their HP, but yeah. You're 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 a third the man that Ness and Pooh are, Jeff. That's what it comes down to. Working our way further left. Almost there. Good. How are we doing on health? We're fine. Well, hi there, tree. How are you? Hi there, pitbull slugs. 
Eh, once again, I'm just gonna bash these guys. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. We still have that. Uh, we still have the uh, plush bear, so we're fine. There's actually another thing in in uh, another secret about Deep Darkness that I didn't hit on that you can hit on if you'd like. Um, in Scaraba, there's a vendor that sells uh, piggy noses, and in various places throughout Deep Darkness, you can use the piggy noses, and you'll gain pee pee. Um, this is useful if maybe you're going through your first time, you're having a little difficulty, or if you're really, really underleveled, uh, but I usually don't find it necessary to do that, so I usually skip it. Salt Packet. This is level 49, defense up by 1, HP 2, PP 1. Wow. Finally learned Rockin' Gamma. Super powerful attack and one of the coolest animations, in my opinion, in the game. This is one of the present Souvenir Coin. Souvenir Coin, let's take a look at that. That's going to increase the defense by 30, which is pretty huge. Um, and what does Paula have? The Talisman Ribbon? I'm not really sure in this case which one gives more defense, so I'm going to give it to her and find out. Equip. This one actually does give her more defense, um, but she's the only one that can equip a ribbon. Mm, nah, I'll give her a coin. I try to keep Paula as safe as possible because she's just so powerful. Uh, I don't think I can actually walk around this back way. I think I have to go up this way, which I'm not thrilled about because there's so many enemies, but I guess let's get it on. We're gonna do it. Let's do it now. Oh, good! I don't have to fight the tree. I'd rather fight uh, Manly Fish. Manly Fish and Manly Fish's brother. <laughs> Wonderful enemies, enemy names. Uh, I guess I could show you uh, Rock and Gamma. It does cost forty, so it's incredibly expensive, but it's just so cool. Uh, okay, I'll use it on uh, on an enemy that's coming up—a boss fight. Hmm, these guys can really give us some trouble. I believe that the proper thing to do is freeze. But then again, I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, we got some big bottle rockets. Might as well use them. I'm going to hit Manly Fish with one. Freeze, Gamma. 22 damage is the wrong one to use. I frequently forget what to do. Please hit Paula. Crap. Paula's the one with the brain pendant. Wouldn't have done much damage. Ness, on the other hand, took over 300. That's not good. I'm going to have Ness life himself up. And I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use Thunder. And, uh, Jeff, you can shoot Manly Fish. Maybe we can get rid of Manly Fish. Thunder's a bust. Paralysis. This is new. Jeff is paralyzed. That's bad. Jabbed with a spear. Ness gets 261 health back. Hmm, this is turning into a real fight, and I hate real fights. Hmm. Well? I just don't... Okay, I'll use Beta. I'm not going to go all the way here. And I'm going to try Thunder Beta again, too. Jeff, you do nothing. Man, Thunder's not having any luck. Please hit Paula. God. Or kill Jeff. I like how Jeff's body solidified, even though he was already paralyzed. It was real useful. Manly Fish is dead. Jeff was able to move, but it didn't matter because he's going to die if we don't kill this guy very, very quickly. Oh, God. Manly Fish's brother knows Healing Omega, which brings people back to life. Yeah, it would have been good to attack him first. Well, Jeff's dead. Um, it's not too big of an issue, really. We can bring him back in just a moment. Well, I guess we're going to uh, give this guy a few physical attacks to take him out. He's much uh, much weaker than his brother. So, six damage to Paula. That's nothing. Then again, she's got that souvenir coin now, so she's really, really up there on the uh, defense. Paula's 46. Get some stat boost and learns, finally, Freeze Omega. Huge, huge attack. Got to get by this guy so we have to deal with him. All right. Uh, don't worry, Jeff. We got you back. A couple life noodles. Jeff. Having a lot of people die here. But I got their back. They'll be fine. Let's give Paula a life of Alpha. And probably myself a life of Alpha. Oh, I didn't get full health? Oh, I'm missing six. I don't think I'll live. Alright, we head up here. Take a right. Go up this very small path. You're gonna see something somewhat familiar. See it? What's that? Is that Master Belch? Well, sort of. He's changed his name. He's now Master Barf. You may have forgotten, but... 
I'm the return of Belch. I've fought you before. P you. Don't you remember my ripe odor? Belch has trained more and has returned much stronger. Burp. Belch has also changed his name to Puke. Barf. Vomit. Barf. Barf. Chuck. Chuck. Drowned to death in Puke. Don't you think that's an incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? Master Barf. Uh, Master Barf is, uh... Not all that much more difficult than he was. Uh, he was pretty easy back then. Uh, he's pretty easy now. Basically, he has a set amount of health, and you have to take out that set amount of health, and when you do, Pooh comes in to save the day, even though he would have already been dead. So, um, what I normally do is I use one of those multis, and it just finishes this battle immediately. Or Paula doing th a 300 damage smash attack is helpful, too. multi bottle rocket damage. 2,000. Suddenly, Pooh swooped in from the sky. Pooh used his new power, PSI Starstorm. Alpha. Nowhere near the amount of damage that Jeff did, because uh, multi baller Rocket is like the most powerful attack in the game. Ness and his friends gave it 31,000. Enemy left a present? It was a Casey Bat. Ness took it. Ness is now 50 years old. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. People went up by 4. Pooh's level is now 42. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. HP went up by 1. PP went up by 1 dead. No, nothing else said. Who was just now back in the group. So there wasn't too long of a wait, I, w I would say. It's alright. And everyone's doing okay, and we're almost to where we need to be, just is right up here. You might be wondering about the Casey Bat. The Casey Bat increases your attack power by like 50 or 70 or something huge. The problem is your, your, uh, your chance of hitting a target is like 1 in 4. It's terrible. So you probably won't kill the guy, which is bad. Uh, the only thing it is good for is if you equip the uh, the Casey Bat, uh, then your offense shoots way up, and your offense is one of the things the game looks at when it decides if you are going to do a uh, auto win, like you know when you touch an enemy on the overworld map and it automatically kills them. So you can actually equip the Casey Bat and instantly kill enemies. So it's useful for that, but not much else. Manly Fish and Cohort. An even slimier little pile. Alright, well, I'm gonna work on Manly Fish. And, uh, let's see if this is something that they're interested in. <laughs> oh, and Star Storm, why not? We just got it. I'm not too worried about using up the, uh, uh, PP right now just because we're so close to a, uh, a rest stop. Literally, a rest stop. We're going to run into a rest stop with uh, vending machines. It's, no, I'm kidding. Actually, that's true in Mother 3, um, which is kind of interesting. There actually is places like that. Anyway, uh, people are leveling up. But I don't care because we're so close to getting out of here. I'm so excited to do that. Almost there. Ta-da. This cave. And this cave will be explored fully. We'll talk to these little fluffy... I say fluffy. There's no indication that they're fluffy. Little green guys. Next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode at all, please like it. If you haven't done so already, please highly consider subscribing to the channel. I release a new video every single day at noon Eastern Time. Right now I'm doing Earthbound Minecraft Left 4 Dead 2. I will soon be doing Amnesia and Portal 2, and I'm doing more games down the pipeline. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and join me next time for Steven Plays.